What's going on guys, Crispy Flakes here. So as we all know up to this point now, finally the uh, All-Star starters and reserves have been selected for the Eastern and Western Conference teams out there. And with that being said, there's been a lot of snubs, man. I got high opinions on some of the snubs on here, and it's absolutely insane, guys. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to see if the uh, All-Snub team could go 8-0 in the NBA and beat out the All-Stars that made ahead of them. So I want to give you guys a look at my list here. Now some of it's kind of in order, some of it's kind of like I wasn't really sure where to rank it at. Uh, let's take a look here, guys. First off is Chris Paul, okay? Now, I know the boy Chris Paul out for six to eight weeks. I knew he wouldn't have got to play it anyway, man. So, this, what really pisses me off about this, guys, is that Chris Paul, the NBA, yo, they could have looked at him and be like, yo, man, we are going to select you for the team. We know you can't play, so we're going to replace you. Um, but we still see what you're doing out there, man. This dude's having, like, one of his most efficient seasons in his NBA career, and he's a Hall of Fame point guard. So, you do the math on that. Number two. I'm sick of the bitch-ass NBA looking upon this man right here. Damian Lillard is an absolute assassin in the NBA, and I don't understand how this dude gets snubbed time after time, man. Like, snub me once, shame on you. Snub me twice, shame on you. Snub me three times, you're a bitch-ass, man. I'm sick of it. Damian Lillard is a beast, and this dude deserved to be in the all-star you know, the uh, all -star game out there. This right there, the man summed up greatly, guys. He said the, the popular vote, once again, does not matter. And this is the all-star game, guys. It's not like whoever goes out here winning this is going to get, like, home court advantage in the NBA Finals. It's simply for fun of the fans. And I don't think there's a more fun player in the NBA around, right now than Joel Embiid. The fact that he didn't make it, um, it's just absolutely crazy, guys. We got Carl Anthony Towns, another player out there that's doing work for the Timberwolves. I think he's one of the best centers in the league, and he's going to be for years to come. He's still very young, so he'll make a lot of all-star appearances, but I think he should have got one this year. Uh, Rudy Gobert, this dude right here, guys... He's from the 2013 draft, one of those players that was kind of drafted later, I believe. Um, he recently just had like a 30-20 game or something like that. It was pretty, or maybe it was like 27-20 and 20 or something like that. Absolutely balling out there. And once again, looked, well, I don't want to say once again, but he was looked um, beyond. So, I don't really agree with that. Uh, Mike Conley, yes, I know he got a ridiculous contract, but he's still a good player. Still having a very efficient season for the Grizzlies. I think he should have made it. Uh, Dwight Howard on the Atlanta Hawks now. Um, having one of his better seasons in recent years, so, you know, I think he's a player that potentially could have made it. CJ McCollum, great shooting guard, one of the best shooting guards in the league if you ask me, but for some reason the NBA got it out for the Portland Trailblazers for some reason and don't want them representing any team or representing the Western Conference for some reason. Uh, we got Chris Thomas Porzingis, another young player, same case as Carl Anthony Towns, going to make a lot of all-star appearances, possibly could have made one this year. Um, Carmelo Anthony has not, he has been in every single all-star game, I believe, since 2003 or 2004. So it's just going to be kind of weird not having him be there. I know there's a lot of drama going on with him right now, um, but I still don't think that should overshadow the fact that he is an all-star player, um, whether, you know, you like it or not. I mean, sure, he doesn't always play like it or play with the best teammate mentality, but he's an all-star player. We got Bradley Beal in that backcourt with John Wall. You know, John Wall was rightly deserved. Bradley Beal, I'm kind of like on the ledge, like, yeah, he probably could have made it, but uh, the fact that he didn't make it, I'm not like overly saying he snubbed, maybe just a little bit. Dwayne Wade and on the Chicago Bulls having a good season over there. Um, another player with, you know, like Carmelo Anthony that's been on it since like 2003, 2004. I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of them under his belt. So the fact that, that's why he's kind of at the bottom of the list here. Zaza Pachulia, another popular vote thing. Um, I think just for the sake of it being funny, they should have put him in it. But uh, I don't know, man. Zaza Pachulia, yeah, it, it, it was funny. I voted for him just out of the humor of like everybody else. I think just for the sake of the funness of it, it would have been funny to have him on there. But at the same time, I mean, there's actual players that do deserve it. Not trying to hate, just giving truth right there, guys. But here we go, man. We are going to go out here. Yeah, no, 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 man. And the one thing I just got, I got to say, I got to go to the top of my head real quick, guys, before we start here. Let me go back to the roster, okay? One last thing, man. I got to talk about Draymond Green real quick, okay? How the hell did his donkey from Shrek looking ass out there, man? I'm making waffles, man, out there. Make it over some of these guys. Like, that's what I don't really get, though. Um, Because I do think about some of the plays I made, like, like yo, like... What's his name? Uh, Gordy Hayward. Yeah, he deserved to make it. But Draymond Green, he's the fourth option on the Warriors. And he's just... One more, man. One more. Okay, I'm sorry, Draymond. I'm sorry, man. Um, But I also got to talk about Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap is the definition of basic bitch basketball. Like, he's going to go out there, probably sit his bitch ass in the corner, and just shoot a three maybe. He might drive it in and maybe do a little weak-ass dunk. But wouldn't you all like to see Joel Embiid over it, over Paul Millsap? I'm just saying, man. I mean, if you a Hawks fan... I apologize, but I would have actually liked seeing Dwight Howard even over Paul Millsap. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not saying he's having a bad season or anything. It's just not very fun to watch for an all-star game. So a basic bitch basketball player. But here we go, guys. Enough uh, rambling on here. We're going to go ahead and simulate the season, see how we do, and see if we can beat out these all-stars with the true snub all-star team. 
Let's get it going, guys. Let's get it going. Simulate through date. And uh, Ryan 2K, I'm just saying, man, don't screw this team over, okay? I know you a hype beast over on the Warriors. You love your Warriors team. You, I, I'm sure you love an all... Wait, wait, wait. Before we talk... Speaking of the Warriors, guys. God, I'm... You know, for the sake of the All-Star game being exciting, I know they're going to play all... I know Steve Kerr is going to play all the Warriors together at one point. But please, man. Please include Russell Westbrook in that lineup. That would be the most awkward yet funny situation ever, man. Can you imagine Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, and Russell Westbrook out there together? I mean, it, it would just have like that awkward tension. I wonder if they would have fun with it. My guess is probably not because they seem to have an attitude towards each other, especially Durant and Russell Westbrook. Um, but it would be really funny, guys. I don't think it's going to happen. And that, honestly, my theory about why Russell Westbrook isn't starting is because the NBA kind of wants, wants to keep that tension away and uh, keep Durant and Russell Westbrook from playing together. So that's actually my theory. Oh, goddamn Cleveland Cavaliers, man. Yo, freak out like a 17-game lose streak. I know it's not that bad, but you, did they, they lose the 76ers? Did you all lose the 76ers recently? I don't know, man. Um, I know LeBron James is pissed off these days. He's really He really wants to get some different players on his team. And, uh, you know, I can't get too mad about this because I don't think Kyrie, Kevin, or LeBron were any snubs out there. So uh, at least we didn't lose to a team that, you know, maybe a player shouldn't have made it like a Paul Millsap although once again I'm just hating I'm, I'm just being a hater right now guys uh, he's a good player but uh, I'm just saying though man but damn I mean yeah we the snubs out there we the snubs so of course they're gonna snub us in the A2-0 challenge I mean it's kind of how it is these days beat the Golden State Warriors very nicely but damn I mean once again Ronnie you are not an all-star man if I go out here getting one L again like in most of my A2 no challenge, if you give me this one L, you was a freaking loser, man. You were no all star. You was not even a snub, man. It's, I don't know, man. I don't know these days. Um, but also, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Um, what players do you think deserve to really make it? And let me know your case. Like, why do you think a certain player should have made it? Also, what player do you think really didn't deserve it? Because, in my opinion, I'd probably say Draymond Green. And it's not that he's a bad player. It's just that. You know, this season, he's not really an all-star. He's a fourth option on his team, and that's because he has a lot of really, really good players ahead of him. Um, but it's not like he's doing crazy things out there. And the fact that he has a lot of trouble, you know, kicking people in the nuts and all that, that's not really an all-star thing. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. But we out here... By the way, guys, as you all also saw, too, I did not include a single one of my Detroit Pistons. I'm absolutely fed up with my team right now. Andre Drummond definitely not playing like an all-star this season. I think he may... Cavaliers, guys, again! Damn! Oh my god, dude! Why is it the why is the Cavaliers got my number? Oh my god, it's the boy Melo out there too. He wants to be a Cavalier so bad. Probably tank the game. Probably like, yo, LeBron, I'll let you beat me out here. Um, you know, if you trade for Kevin Love, you know, if you can convince management, I know you got that kind of negotiation power. But dang, dude, I was <sighs> We gonna lose two games and be both of the Cleveland Cavaliers, guys. Come on, give another L for somebody else at least so I can sleep better at night. No one that's not just the Cavaliers out here beating me up. It ain't gonna happen. We ain't gonna lose to the Pistons. We ain't gonna lose to the Mavericks, not the Bucks, and not the Lakers, and not the Pelicans. So, <laughs> I thought the fucking Lakers got me. Oh my god, dude. I'm done, yo. Yo, Ryan 2K is freaking cursing LD 2K. I know LD a big uh, Laker fan out there. Don't don't try to learn. Don't let Ryan take you under his wing, man. Okay, LD, you a cool dude in the community, dude. But uh, don't let him. Don't let Ryan go out here, let you rig and stuff and whatnot. Just don't do it, man. It's not good. It's not good. But LeBron James, the uh, finals or the uh, regular MVP of the season, great numbers for him. Probably defensive player of the year. He's been getting that a lot lately on this game, which is kind of crazy. Um, any other players out here? Elba? Any Elbas? Not a single Elba out there. Although, like I said, we're not really all getting like maximum minutes out here. But uh, let's check out these player stats. So Carl Anthony Towns, 17 points, 13 rebounds, three assists, about two blocks, making the biggest case, saying, "Yo, man, I am a bus." Or not? A, I'm sorry, not a bus. A snub. Like, get me on the All-Star team. Damian Lillard, 14 points. Y'all know my opinions on him already. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 players averaging 10 points or more a game, guys. That's absolutely crazy. And then we got, you know, some centers down here and shooting guards that are just kind of playing all right out there, too. Dwayne Wade, Bradley Beal. Let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs. Simulate current rounds against those Pacers. And uh, we're probably going to meet the damn Cavaliers in the finals. Two L's against them so far. So that's not great. So the uh, stats right there for you guys. Boston Celtics. Celtics simulate current round. So they got Isaiah Thomas. Is Al Horford, did he make the all-star team? I feel like he did, didn't he? Which is another case where it's like, I, I don't, I'm not sure. Did, did he make it, guys? Um, He's not really the most exciting player either. Carl Anthony Towns almost with the 2020 vision out there. Dang, that dude should have made it for sure, guys. And, oh, my God, dude. 
The Cavaliers got swept by the Charlotte Hornets in the first round? And now the Hornets out here sweeping the Bulls and getting a WME even. Damn. They out here balling, dude. I know Kemba Walker's representing out there. I like Kemba Walker, too. I'm happy for him to make the All-Star team. Now we got the Warriors and Alba. Yeah, I forgot to switch the team name to something cool, but Alba's fine, too. Simulate current round. And we beat the Golden State Warriors in four games one. The snub team beat the four All-Stars out there, so I'm happy to see that. Carl Anthony Towns, your finals MVP. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Everybody have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Whenever you're watching this video, please remember to subscribe. Have a good one, my friends. Peace out.